हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव बीन गिवन ए स्क्वायर एंड ऑन द साइड्स ऑफ ए स्क्वायर देयर आर थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स डिफाइंड एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ टू यूनिट्स फ्रॉम द वर्टिसेस ऑफ द स्क्वायर एंड जॉइनिंग दीज टू पॉइंट्स वी हैव डिफाइंड ए दिस लाइन एंड वी हैव डिफाइंड दिस ब्लू रीजन वी हैव टू डिफाइन इट्स एरिया इफ द लेंथ ऑफ प्रिपेंडिकुलर फ्रॉम द थर्ड पॉइंट on this line is nothing but 6 units so to find the area of region let me define one of the sides length here that is this length from this point to this point let me define the length as x so the side of square will become x plus 2 so this side will also be equal to x plus 2 now what is this geometrical figure whose area we need to find we can see that there are two sides parallel to each other so this is nothing but a trapezium and we can easily define the area of trapezium as half into sum of parallel sides multiplied by height so parallel sides are x and 2 so it will become half multiplied by x plus 2 that is sum of parallel sides and height will become a line perpendicular to both of the parallel sides that is this height x plus 2 so we have to find this value half x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2 so that is nothing but half x plus 2 whole square so this is the value we need to find so to find this value we have to find the value of x so now this is our question now to find the value of x let me complete the cyclic or symmetric pattern here i can see that from this vertex i am moving two units and define the point then from the second vertex i am moving two units defined a point then from this vertex i am moving two units and defined a point so we are moving clockwise so from this vertex i will move two units in clockwise and i will define a point so these four points will be symmetric to each other so now i will define this length as x here from this point to this point so we can see that it is x and 2 it is 2 and x and here also x and 2 and here also x and 2 because the side of square is x plus 2 only now what i will do is i will join all these points and i will define a quadrilateral now let me explain to you this quadrilateral will also be nothing but a square only how can we say that so just take a look at these triangles here this triangle this triangle this triangle and this triangle they all are congruent triangles because two sides are equal to and x and the one angle is 90 degree so everything about these triangles are congruent so we can say that this length this length this length and this length using pythagoras theorem if you will find in the triangle they all will be equal so quadrilateral whose all four sides are equal we can say that it will be either a rhombus or a square now how does it to be a square for it to be a square the angle here must be 90 degree now to understand that all these angles are 90 degree let me define the angle inside this triangle as alpha and beta opposite to side 2 is alpha opposite to x is beta if you will take a look at alpha plus beta alpha plus beta must be 90 degree because this is 90 degree total sum is 180 degree inside the triangle same will be the case here in this triangle that this is the alpha opposite to 2 this is the angle beta opposite to x same is the case here opposite to alpha here it is beta here it is beta here it is alpha all the triangles are congruent since alpha plus beta is 90 degree sum of these two angles so this angle must be 90 degree because this whole is 180 degree so 90 plus 90 is 180 so this is 90 degree same is the case here alpha beta this sum is 90 so this must be 90 degree same is the case here alpha beta 90 this must be 90 degree and here angle also is 90 degree so now we can say that all the sides are equal and angles are also 90 degree so this must be a square so if this is a square now it becomes very simple for us to solve the problem because this is one diagonal of the square we will extend this and this will become the other diagonal and we know that the diagonals of square bisect each other so if this length is 6 this will also become 6 this will also become 6 this will also become 6 because the length of diagonal of squares are also equal so if this length is 6 this length is 6 using pythagoras theorem in this triangle i can define the side of the square as 6 root 2 this is very easy 
Now we are interested in finding x. So we'll focus on this triangle and use Pythagoras theorem to define x. x square plus 2 square is equal to 6 root 2 square. So this will become 72 is equal to x square plus 4. x square will become 68. x is root 68. Now we'll simply put the value of x. Find the value of area. Half root 68 plus 2 whole square. a square plus b square 68 plus 4 plus 2ab. That is 4 root 68. So this will become 72 by 2. That is 36. 4 by 2 is 2. Root 68 can be written as 17 multiplied by 4. 4 can come outside as 2 by taking root. So it will become 4 root 17. So this is the area of the blue shaded region. If there is any other method that you can think of solving the question, feel free to share in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.